Venture funding. Don't be ridiculous. These people do this for seeds and worn out clothing. We're just fine. Sir, I traced their origins to the so-called planet Earth. Hmm. This may present a business opportunity. This is actually a 100% true story about how DoorDash was created. Gnome Restaurant came out in 2006, seven years before DoorDash even existed. It's a similar concept. Some gnome gets hungry, orders some grub, and you deliver it to them in exchange for rewards. People have mostly forgotten about it in RuneScape 3 because it isn't worth the time. But I've come up with a method to change that. The gnome scarf is one of the most timeless fashionscape items, only behind party hats and Santas. Over the past three years, it has gone from 15 million to almost 70 million GP. The traditional method of obtaining the scarf is to rush through as many gnome restaurant orders as possible. But that caps out around 35 million GP per hour, and honestly, it's very click intensive and not fun. Meet Captain Ninto and Captain Derkin. They're not like the other 18 gnomes. I've just been informed Hazelmere has passed away. I brought the news to a loft and he removed him from the delivery list, capping us at 17 more gnomes. Hazelmere's last gift was actually an undiscovered true trim requirement for this video. Ninto and Derkin are the only gnomes who reward the player with a gnome scarf. The best reward from the others are seed pods and sous chef outfit pieces. You probably already see where this is going. We'll ignore every gnome except these two, thus maximizing our chances of a scarf and minimizing time waste. The odds of a scarf are approximately 1 in 14, and the chance of the right gnome is about 1 in 10. Quick math, that means you'll average about 5 million GP every hour for just 2 minutes of work, or 150 million GP per hour. Assuming this video doesn't tank the market. The catch is you need to have another activity to do right by a loft who gives you the orders. This can include things like fletching, enchanting bolts, using proteans, or even alking. The perk of this is it can take activities like fletching from upwards of 10 million GP per hour to 15, but the downside is you won't get pulse core boosts and rested XP, so it's not really worth it for endgame players in my opinion, but it can be good for those who need a little extra cash. Prior to starting the method, you'll want to cook 10 of every gnome food. You'll need to go through a tutorial if you've never done the activity before, Here's a quick cheat sheet I stole from the wiki for each food item. It looks complicated, but once you've done it a bit, it becomes pretty natural. The food is challenging to buy from the Grand Exchange for a reasonable price because it's a low volume item, so I really would just spend 20 minutes prepping 10 of each food. If you are only doing these two gnomes, that'll get you over 500 million GP once you go through all of them, so it lasts quite a while. The next thing I did was make a preset with one of each food item and my skilling items. I was fletching, so that's what I have in this preset. Every five to six minutes, you check in with a loft and get a new order. If it's Ninto or Derkin who wants the food, then accept it. Otherwise, just cancel and keep fletching. For Derkin, you'll teleport to Alcarid and run to the southeast house. Talk to him twice or click through the whole dialogue to get your reward. After I've got my reward, I teleport back to the Grand Tree with a seed pod. You can use a spirit tree to get back just slightly slower if you want to save 80k on the teleport seed pod. Then head back upstairs and immediately get another order. In this situation, I actually got Ninto right after Derekin. For Ninto, you teleport to Taverly Lodestone and enter the cave just north of there. Deliver the food and who knows, you might just get a scarf. They sell anywhere from 60 to 70 million GP right now, but that will probably change with time. Or, you know, you could just deliver DoorDash in real life and buy a bond, but that's up to you. Thanks for watching. And I'm lying in bed, the voice in my head keeps asking about my life.
full of questions I couldn't answer if I tried.